We have Nalin Kohli joining us on the phone line, uh, the BJP Neta. Let's get a sense of what the BJP, uh, how the BJP views this case. Arvind Kejriwal, Mr. Kohli, has no relief from the Supreme Court, at least for the moment. The hearing, urgent hearing against ED arrest itself has been postponed until after 29th April. So it's unlikely that he may be seen in action campaigning for the Ahmadmi Party. Uh, do you believe that this will really bring in the kind of sympathy that Arvind Kejriwal hopes to receive, this Lok Sabha, or will it be otherwise? This is not about sympathy, and this is not about scoring political brownie points. This is about a case which is an investigation into an allegation of serious corruption by Mr. Kejriwal's government, the Ahmadmi Party government of Delhi, of which he is the chief minister. His two colleagues and ministers who work under his direction, who work on his... Uh, uh, whatever he thinks is the right decision and which he approves, finally are in jail for over a year, not getting bail because they changed the liquor scam, allegedly did not follow the procedure, allegedly have helped individuals and allegedly have taken large sums of money, which, to put it as bluntly, amounts to a bribe. So therefore, in that, two of his ministers who work under his direction are in jail. Now, Mr. K.J. Iman is the chief minister, the one who runs the government and is the supreme person of the party is supposed to give cogent answers about these allegations against his government. On every occasion over the last year and a half, two years, Mr. Kejriwal either has chosen to divert the attention to another topic or has tried to run away from the investigation. You ask him about the NICAC policy, he'll speak about the health policy of Delhi. You ask him about the eight uh, um, summons sent by the investigative agency, he had an excuse every time. I am busy, I am in Vipassana, I am electioneering, these are illegal. This time I won't go, next time I'll go, finally he's arrested. The courts have kept that uh, arrest going. So Mr. K. J. Bal ultimately has to give answers. This is not about sympathy. If he had cogent answers, he wouldn't be in this position. Arvind Kejriwal's counsel su suggests that an arrest based on approver statements alone can't be taken, uh, uh, you know... To, as the gospel truth, and that Mr. he can't Kejriwal be held in prison during election time. The timing I, is the question raised. Election cannot be an argument. And this was by Mr. Raju. The ASG quite correctly and forcefully pointed out in the High Court that can you say that a person, for example, convicted of murder is going to say because now it's election, I'm a candidate, I should be released from jail. That is not an argument. The argument is whether there is an allegation against you on which there is reasonable basis, reasonable material that points to your being involved in that and therefore should you be investigated further, if required, taken into custody. The courts are only keeping him in custody. Mr. Kejriwal is not being kept in custody by any political party. It's finally the agency and approved by the court. The court is extending that remand. Secondly, Mr. Kejriwal and his legal team are entitled to have any argument they wish to say. But the core argument still remains. What are the answers to the liquor scam of Delhi? Now, on the approval statement, the law is clear on the approval statement. Why are they arriving at this conclusion that there is only an approval statement? Every person who is, and as a lawyer, I must point this out, every person who is accused, the material against that person may be different. So Mr. Sanjay Singh's case would be different to Mr. Kejriwal. Mr. Sanjay Singh is not the chief minister of Delhi. Mr. Sanjay Singh is not directing the ministers in the government of Delhi. Mr. Sanjay Singh has an allegation, allegedly of receipt of money. But here the policy is important. The lack of uh, procedure is important. The allegation of corruption is being used in the Goa election is important, of which Mr. Kejriwal's case is on a different footing. You know, finally, Mr. Kohli, running the Delhi state of Delhi through prison, that's uh, what the Ahmadmi Party is hell-bent on, saying jail, ke, jail se sarkar. Kejriwal will carry out governance while he's in uh, Tihar jail. And they've also worked out a, a, a method here where two ministers every week will be meeting Kejriwal one after the other. This is a cycle that they will continue. Today, you had Bhagwant Maan, the Punjab chief minister, in a first meeting Kejriwal in Tihar. Jail se sarkar ya bail pe sarkar is not the matter. The matter is sarkar ko thik se chalna chahiye as per the constitution. Mr. Kejriwal's hunger for power is evident in this. They are trying to make a virtue of actually something which is serious. Then why did Mr. Kejriwal accept uh, the resignations of uh, Mr. Sisodia and Mr. Satendra Jain? 
they are in jail also how are they different they are ministers he is the chief minister of the government so therefore mr kejriwal has made one thing clear the rules for him will be different to the rules for his colleagues so therefore this is not a virtue this is pure hunger for power clinging on to power and trying to make a virtue where none exists right thanks very much mr nalin kohli for joining us on that